All right, this week we're in uh, Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri. This is Rick with Custom Concrete Design. We're down Horseshoe Bend here. We're gonna be working on this, uh, well, there's two pillars, it's just the driveway pillars. They have four, but they just want the front ones done here in front of the house. So we're gonna do both of these. Already got everything prepped up and ready to go for some concrete, did a little patchwork. But we're gonna do a real light gray on the majority um, probably 90% uh, of it. The other 10% is going to be a little bit darker gray just on this front facing here, this little border. So we're ready for some concrete and we're going to go ahead and get this stuff on. Okay, we've got the base coat on the two pillars here. So we are ready to go for another base coat tomorrow. We're going to spray that one on, and then we're going to make that trim a little bit darker tomorrow that goes around where I've got that taped off right there in the front. It's going to be a little bit darker, but we're going to spray it on tomorrow. Okay, we just uh, we put our third base coat on, well, our third coat of concrete, I should say. Um, that's the texture coat, which is a knockdown finish, and... Um, we just finished up our third coat on the trim, so the trim is a little bit darker than the rest of it. Um, we put our uh, final coat, texture coat on earlier today, and we just put that darker coat on there. Finished up about 30 minutes ago, so we're just letting it dry. Uh, still wet. It will lighten up some. Not a whole lot, but it will lighten up some. Over here, we sprayed this one first, and you can see where this one's lightening up already because um, it looks splotchy. You see the dark spots, you see the light spots. Um, so that light area is actually um, dry right now, but that will darken back down as we seal it. Tomorrow, I'm going to come back and seal this thing. Um, this will darken down a few shades too, but it's, you know, it's completely dry. And then this will this will actually go back to the darker shade once it's sealed, but it dries quite a bit lighter, lighter. So, anyways, as you can tell, you know this one is considerably darker over here, but yeah, they turned out pretty nice. I'm happy with them. Okay, this job is done. I put the sealers on yesterday, two coats of sealer, and uh, the clients put the fixtures back on top sometime this morning, I guess. That's the big light that I was talking about, and the chrome band around the perimeter on that top slab. That's why we left that, you know, we didn't coat it, so we just wanted to seal it. Looks nice and clean now. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Like the video if you like it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next job. Thanks for watching.